Buildings have been destroyed in Taiwan after a massive magnitude 7.2 earthquake struck the island. The quake has also prompted tsunami warnings for southwestern Japan. North Asia correspondent James Oten joins us now from Tokyo. James, what is the latest? Well, as you mentioned, a magnitude 7.2 quake struck Taiwan. Now, that had an intensity of around five or six for most of the parts of Taiwan. Uh, this earthquake struck the eastern uh, part of Taiwan uh, near Hualien City. Um, so Taipei, the capital, is in the northern coast. Uh, but that certainly felt the quake as well, given how powerful it was. Most of the damage that we are seeing so far is from that regional town of Hualien City. Uh, we have seen that there are buildings that have been knocked off their foundations, so they're not fully collapsed. At least the footage we've seen so far does not show fully collapsed buildings, but we can see that they've come off their foundations and they're leaning quite dangerously. Uh, there are reports now as well of people who are trapped in those buildings and there are a lot of uh, power outages as well. Uh, as I mentioned, this quake was still felt in uh, Taipei. Uh, we've had uh, a lot of things have been knocked off the walls up there as well. Um, and there's also now uh, f new footage of one of the train lines up there that is, seems to be knocked off. It's, uh, it's come unhinged. Uh, so trains across the island there have now ceased operations and people had to walk uh, away from the train lines uh, after the earthquake there happened as well. As for Japan, well, as you mentioned, there is a tsunami warning now in place for the Okinawan Islands. These are the islands in the far southern parts of Japan, very close to Taiwan. Uh, a, a, a tsunami of up to three metres is now anticipated to hit the Okinawan Islands. Um, we're just waiting to see to see how big that earthquake, uh, that tsunami will actually be now, Ros. Okay, James, thank you for the update there.